This mutant version may have a lot more hardware, but underneath it all, she's pure Mustang, and she's ready to celebrate her ancestry. This is the Mustang drive across America, a 40th birthday party the whole country can join in. As the party heats up, the crew at Unique Performance scramble to put the finishing touches to another custom Mustang. Okay, this is our 427 aluminum block motor that comes from Shelby Automotives out of Vegas. This is actually a fully aluminum 427 with aluminum heads. It offers a Vortex supercharger, which puts about five to five and a half pounds of boost into the engine. Horsepower rating on this motor is 725 horse. But all these toys are not for Eleanor. They're for her big sister, the Super Snake, that these guys are building for American baseball star Jason Giambi. It comes with a customized hat where we have a demon carburetor inside, which we actually mark with an indicator with a Super Snake on it. With most of the key parts already in place, it's time to install the transmission. This Tremec TKO 5-speed. The TKO is a little stronger transmission, taking more of the horsepower and the torque. And also, we install a hydraulic throwout bearing on them. As far as the clutch, instead of a cable or a manual-style clutch, it's all hydraulic, so it's a lot easier on the, the driver. There it is. Only state-of-the-art will do. Every car that leaves this shop will be included in the next official Shelby American World Registry. The seal of approval from Carol Shelby, the man who started it all. And only the best will make the cut. They strengthen the drive shaft with a few welds to the U-joint. If you have U-joint failure, it keeps the drive shaft in place so it doesn't drop forward, because if it drops forward, it's always a factor there you can turn the car over or something, you drop the front part of the drive shaft down. Not good, especially at 260 kilometers per hour. They install an H-pipe to the front end of the exhaust system. It's specially designed to help equalize the pressure on the engine. Go. Next on the list for a makeover, the suspension. Okay. Watch your fingers. They install a high-performance front end featuring fully adjustable shocks. The new engine in the souped-up Super Snake has three times the horsepower it had back in 1967 so it will need extra muscle to keep the rear tires on the pavement. And the guys here have just the thing. This coilover system is one of the most advanced rear suspensions available for vintage Mustangs. She can adjust the rear end side to side to get it squared up in the car correctly. Drive it home. The torque arm setup, which it eliminates the wheel hop and the rear suspension on takeoff. Jason Giombi's custom Super Snake is really coming together. But what about Eleanor? She's nearly finished and ready to go from the shop to show to go. Vintage Mustang fans are hard to please. And when Unique Performance first started making the Eleanor, not everyone liked the idea of turning classics into show cars. You know, early on in, in, the, in this project, we took a lot of flack early on. Now, we're not, we're not getting that. Uh, we're, a lot of people are really seeing what we're all about. They're, they're being educated. Uh, from how many cars we're actually building. And they're, the visitors that we get into the facility and they see the kind of cars that we are taking apart and bringing back, that we're really doing something good, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the vintage car world. These cars that we're, we're taking are cars that ha 
have not been put on the road. These cars are cars that would probably sit there and rust uh, to a point where they can't be repaired and brought back. And those who want an Eleanor of their own have better get a move on. Unique is limiting its production to just 475 cars. As the project has taken hold, I have people throughout the country that, that may have a car in a garage, may have two that their father had, that knowing this project, knowing Carol's behind this, they're wanting to send their vehicle to be converted into an Eleanor. And what better comeback than to make it as a movie star? When I get someone on the phone, knowing, just finding out that we are doing this car for Mr. Shelby, it's just like a a kid in a candy store. And the candy store includes all sorts of cool custom rides, including Eleanor's little sister, this Shelby GT350 SR. With a 350 horsepower V8 engine, she's not quite as fast as the movie version. But this little racer is pure Shelby. And she still packs quite a punch. And in the latest version of Eleanor, the interior is coming together. It's a little bit of uh, taking the old, the vintage, and uh, a little bit of the new, uh, high technology, uh, and combining the two. Uh, we take vintage muscle cars, and we apply the, the latest technology that's out there on the street. And if all goes according to plan, she'll soon join them. The crew puts the finishing touches to the interior. And when they're finished, Eleanor will be all systems go. The finishing touches are put to the inside of this Mustang turned movie star, a car just like the one co-named Eleanor in Jerry Bruckheimer's Gone in 60 Seconds. Like most items on this ride, the interior will be chock full of the latest and greatest custom touches. You got a Shelby steering wheel. And in homage to her creator, the crew applies the official Shelby badge. The last final stroke when they were all together was kind of rebadging them, basically, so that you knew that they were a Shelby. So I kind of went in and had all the little reproduction emblems that knew where they went on the stalker and uh, just kind of said, you know what, but proportionally it's like works better here, putting the big snake on the, on the front fender. And that's kind of where they, where they are now when these, in these secondary market cars are all in the same place as I put them that one day with double stick tape. It had better look official. Harold Shelby, the father of the original Mustang, won't put his name on just any old car. He's been very influential in the project, and I, I would almost say, to a degree, hands-on. Um, his fingerprints are all over this car. It has more than just his fingerprints. It has the ultimate seal of approval, an autograph fascia, hand-signed by Carroll Shelby himself. And true to the movie version of the car, this Eleanor gets a nitrous button in the boot. One blast of this, will boost the engine by at least 100 horsepower. Now for one of my favorite aspects of the car. It's our go, baby, go button. It's got our Shelby insignia. Most people recognize it from the movie. Little clear cover. Snap it into place. You're ready to go.